Yo, Anime Nyan here. I apologize. I've had a little bit of my plate recently. Anyway, on to today's topic. Now let me get this straight. Pingu in the city is an anime? Surely it can't be, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually sick. I'm not kidding. Anyway, I mean, just look at any other fine anime out there and try and group Pingu together with it. They're so different, aren't they? What this broaches is the fundamental question. What is anime? Nowadays, the word anime is synonymous with a style of art which has crystalline eyes, in which gravity-defying hairstyles with bold highlights, vibrant and attractive to the eye, are ubiquitous. However, that's still very vague. How do you define anime? Well, here's one definition. The word anime is simply Japanese for animation of any kind. Call me out of wrong. However, in English, what people generally refer to as anime nowadays is animated content and its derivatives coming from Japan. Well, I think we've got a video. I, we can just wrap this all up now. <coughs> I was, was kidding. It isn't the end by a long stretch. But then why would this anime, Pingu in the City, be on my anime list? .net anyway. It's not from Japan, right? No, it is from Japan. I'm not... <laughs> I was kidding. This is because although the original Pingu series was made in and around Europe, Pingu in the City is a remake of the series made in Japan. So yeah, it fits with our definition of anime. So I've addressed... We've addressed part one of our complaint. Complaint? As in why it's on myanimelist.net. Now, quick mention, this website has some really strict rules on what constitutes an anime and a manga, with the most prominent case being them refusing to put the webtoon Tower of God on their website. Okay, got that. But what about its abnormally high ranking on the top anime of all time? Yeah, it is number 46, not that high, but it still surpasses anime like Monster, Buckman, Death Note, Fate Zero, Erased, and a lot of other stuff. And actually, it was above number 46 by quite a lot for some time, and I'm pretty sure it reached number one for a little. Well, this simple answer, or the simple answer to this is memes. Yes, memes. Memes have popularized Pingu in the city, and who doesn't want to put in a children's show into a list with the, some of the biggest names and towering giants in anime history. I mean, it's like being at an art gallery and seeing the Mona Lisa, Michelangelo's David, and the great wave of Kanagawa, and then it's seeing a beginner's sketch of a circle. I'm not trying to say this circle is bad in any way, but you wouldn't say that the same discussion of deep themes of the former works to be as prominent in this work. In fact, I was fully expecting just to like full on wallop on this show and just say that it was horrible in every regard, but after watching it, I don't hate it. I understand the target audience isn't me. For an animated show for children, it is very high quality. The art style and animation is very clean, the set pieces are visually interesting, and a wide colour palette makes up the various scenes. Sure, the plot is predictable and follows a linear path, and the gibberish which the penguins use gets repetitive. However, because of this choice of completely cutting out any speech, the voice actors are forced into expressing emotion more cl clearly and while well, doing a better job and thus giving out a better performance which is more than I can say for some other anime shows and especially children's shows. Would I say it deserves number 46 on the list? No. In my opinion, it's okay as a children's show but when contrasted to most other anime, it's just lacking in visuals, plot, sound design, and characters you can be sympathetic to. 
I mean, just look at the comment section on myanimelist.net and you'll find that people aren't really serious. I mean, it's okay, but it's not a masterpiece, especially to viewers who may understand deeper themes and ideas. So in summary, Pingu is an anime that's okay, but I mean, it's not that great. And does it deserve number 46 on the spot? No. Why? Because, well, memes. Yeah, and this was a really quick video on Pingu in the City. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be back with another one really soon. Thank you.